Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is Miraj from Bangladesh. Today I'm going to teach you how to install uh, Rawal Laravel e commerce uh, in your server. So, at first, uh, I'm going to Envato website, this folder. I have already saved it. Uh, this is a new Laravel e-commerce theme uh, which is uh, recently updated. They have uh, given a lot of options for the e-commerce which is point of sales, advanced inventory system, purchase module, accounts module, stock module, reporting module, warehousing system. Uh, they, they have developed it very recent. It's very nice also, but still uh, they are updating it. Uh, they are it is still in update position. So at first uh, I have to download it from the download section as I have purchased it already. So I am going to download uh, all files and document. So it is downloading. So it is already downloaded. Uh, now I'm going to open this file and uh, cut it to another folder, which I'm keeping the file regularly. Open here. No update. So I'm paste here and extract the file. Uh, this is uh, two file we have found There is a source code There is a documentation how to install the file So we will take this source code For this reason we will going to open my server I have purchased the server from Namecheap I'm going to sign in going to hosting list and uh, go to cpanel There is the dashboard of my cPanel. So I'm going to find manager, find manager, and I'm going to paste it the file into here public.html, which is my uh, website name cardc.cardcbd.com. It is hosted here. So I'm upload the file. Deleting the file from new update. I will I will up. So I'm going to upload it. 
it will take time so i'm pause the video upload completed so i'm reload here already file came so i'm going to extract it extract the all files Extracted. So I'm typing the my website name www.orrtsrtcvd.com. Uh, this is the interface of uh, installing file Laravel e-commerce app. So I'm giving next. So here everything is okay in my server, so no need to change anything. Next, I have to give the permission of this uh, those folder. So going the uh, going to close this and here is we have to see storage dot framework. So I have on this storage. The framework have to given the permission. Right click, uh, change permission. So it will be it should be seven seven five. So I am going to click here seven seven five. Change the permission. Here another was in storage dot storage by logs. So I am going to give the permission storage seven seven five. Change the permission and back. Here is another one bootstrap cage. So going to bootstrap, bootstrap and case change the permission again back and I'm really reloading it. So next, so this is the text wizard app edit. I'm going to give the name of my website. RTC fashion. With the HTTPS George next database. So we have to create a database for this file. Going to the main, click on the my. SQL database. I have to create a database. I am going to. I am taking this database. So for this, I am delete it. Delete database. Come back. You can also. So my website name is Carti CVD. I'm giving this the database name. Create database. I'm keeping the same name. Also the user. Creating a new user here. Will be easy for us to remember the username and database. So giving the pass password for this database. Create user. To link both database and user so, 
give all privileges make changes go back I'm taking this database names also the same the username I'm putting it here it's not the same So next application, I have to save the mail driver, sm, tp, mail host, You can get the information from a um, mail address. this connect device so this is the port name 465 have to put it here 465 mail is the name they are at the rate of cbd Keep the mail password. Mail it will be TLS. Then next administrative. Give the purchase code here. So I have already downloaded the purchase code. Click the install. So Laravel installer successfully installed it. So click to exist. Exit. This is the admin panel. So we have to take the username and password from the Laravel website, Raval. Here is the click it owner and put it here. Then password is one two three. This is the login interface. So I'm taking the username and password from here. Copying this. And put the password one two three. Login. This is the interface uh, uh, in, of Raval uh, dashboard. You can change the password, edit profile, 
where you can put a name also password and submit it will change and I'm going to see the website interface so putting the website name This is the website interface. You can change everything from the dashboard admin panel. So, thank you for watching this video.